Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Devilingual. Today's video is going to be taking a different turn. I'm going to be introducing you all to my friends who happen to be academics like they are scholars in the world of language french and german to be precise you'll be learning about them today and also their journey so far as language student till now that they are language graduate and i'm hopeful i'm very confident that you'll be able to pick one or two things as a language learner that you are or an intending language learner do make sure that you enjoy i'm oluwayolemi by name French graduates at the University of Badon. Udo Chuku Okehalam. I studied um, European studies in the University of Badon and I majored in French and German studies. My name is Blessing Judith Ogaze. I am a graduate of French and German from the University of Badon. Actually, I didn't choose or I didn't have it in mind I would be studying a language course. But along the line, I developed interest and then here yeah, I am, successful at it. Yes, I actually chose to study French and German from the onset. I chose the, two, the course because I wanted to do it. Okay, at first, I wanted to become a French lecturer. Although things have changed, um, but that still um, doesn't alter the fact that I am proud of my course. I'm happy I it. Yeah, so I would say fear. Fear is it's a very, very bad thing, especially when you want to learn a language. It's one of those challenges that, you know, puts you off right before you start. So I would say avoid fear. Um, yeah, fear is a big, big challenge. And then trying to copy other people's learning styles because as human beings, we're all different. We have things that appeal more to us than it does to others. So we have to learn not to try to copy the way other people's, you know, other people's learning styles are because that's a major challenge, I would say. Alright, I don't really have a secret. I have secrets. Uh, the first thing I'm saying was that um, having been admission into the school and having uh, began the course of study, I take it upon myself to do a lot of research. Knowing this language is not a language I could do on my own. It's not my own. I had to put more effort, make research far beyond what her lecturers taught us in class then. So that was what helped me. And then discussing with her, that cost me to mind and um, encouragement. Yeah, and they really helped me. And lastly, also, uh, I want, uh, I would like to say this, uh, there's this God factor. Okay, so God really helped me. So though my, my path was to read and then I had it the part of God and then read, pray, study So that was how the secret to my successful completion of my course study. My advice to the university is to make the burden lighter on language students by removing the unnecessary external courses that we have to take in order to graduate. Because what happens is that these courses distract us, they divide our attention and so we are torn in between the language we came to school to study and also the other, the other courses that, needed, that need to be passed in order to um, graduate. I would say that the things I enjoyed the most were extracurricular activities, especially our French club, Cercle Francais. Cercle Francais, we did a lot of things, you know, that made it fun. And I would also say times that I had fun with language, because I mean, you have to enjoy what you're doing. You know, a few courses that we had to do extracurricular things, dramas, acts, music, you know, and then just those are the memories I will hold in my heart and because it brought out things in me and made me bond well with my classmates. So yes, thank you. Yes, 
yes, I believe it is possible to um, learn a language outside of its natural environment. Only that it would require more effort on the part of the learner. You will need to dedicate time. You need to be more intentional about it. You need to um, invest your energy, your time, your dedication, everything needed to it. And when you do that, I can assure you, you will reach your language goals. First thing is set a clearly defined goal. So, and they must be clearly stated. Okay, at the end of six months, I want to be fluent uh, in reading and writing. Okay, uh, I would like to be able to. So, set goals that are, that are really realistic. And then also learn common vocabularies. Learn common vocabularies and use them in sentences. Use them to construct day to day sentences that you use. Also, uh, make sure you communicate, communicate with your peers whenever you have the opportunity to. And also make use of apps, online apps. Okay, all these will help you can take a lot of online classes. And lastly, watch movies and watch TV programs. At first, you may not be able to listen, I mean, understand what they are saying, but uh, the more you listen, the more you'll be able to get and then you'll be able to speak. Thank you. Okay, I would advise those who are. Uh, willing to learn a language or those that have even started i would um, advise them to remember the reason why they chose that language in the first place because um, they will get to points whereby they are tired or they are discouraged or it is overwhelming for them but remember the reason why you chose that language at first will help put everything into perspective and with that you'll be able to fire on and reach um, your goal Okay, so guys, that's all for now. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please do also click on the subscribe button to this channel to learn more from us on language generally and to also learn French language from scratch. Click on the subscribe button, click on the like button, share and also drop your comments. Au revoir.